Hello everyone and welcome to Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today we are doing the next 3D printer vlog. So, what have we done? So far I have replaced this here in stop. Our new relay has come in the mail. I am going to go ahead and replace the uh, current relay which I have already taken off the, the actual chassis of the printer. So, I'm going to go ahead and get to that. Okay, so let's go ahead and power off this beast here. It's just familiarizing myself with this new relay here. It looks like this little plug-in contact actually plugs into the same contacts as the circuit board for the, uh, the control of the heated bed. And these are the actual uh, inputs and outputs for the relay here. So let's see, I'm probably gonna have to drag this over to the soldering bench. All right, it's gonna go ahead and clip these wires. I'm gonna get some heat shrink real quick. And I'm just gonna tin all these tips. And I gotta position this so I can get everything in. Alrighty folks, I went ahead and uh, soldered up this here lead for our relay. Now, the only problem with this relay is there's uh, no backing to it, so I can't just straight up mount it to the frame or zip tie or anything like that because it'll short out. So I'm gonna need to create a backing plate that uh, bolts in with these big screws that are on the on various parts of the frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip up something like, or a solution for that in FreeCAD, and then I'll uh, jump to a time lapse here while I'll be printing it out. Got it designed in CAD here, so went ahead and sliced it up and simplified 3D. It'll take about an hour, or just short of an hour here, so as you can see, I probably ran the time lapse while I'm doing little laps here, so there we go. Alrighty, folks, so got this guy printed off here. Came out pretty good, pretty decent, and I'm just gonna mount it up to where I had the relay, the older relay set up, so just gonna mount it right here somewhere, and of course, I'll hook it in. So we got the relay taken care of here now. It's actually been a while since I've actually done this relay here. About a two or three weeks I'd say. What I'm doing here now is I'm trying to level up the Z-bed, making sure that both of these motors are exactly leveled. The way I have decided to do this is to print out these little, uh, basically little spacers to make sure both line or sides are lined up properly. So I'm gonna raise the height on these suckers here. Okay, so before I start leveling both sides of the Z-axis, I need to do a few more adjustments. First off, I need to properly align the Z motor frame mount so that the Acme lead screw is straight. Second, I need to align the lead screw nut mount attached to the bed platform so that it is also straight. Then I test to make sure that the bed can move up and down fully without binding. I recommend doing this manually and with the Z motors disconnected from the ramp board. Now that I have these crucial steps taken care of, I can go ahead and use the 3D printed jig to line up both sides of the bed platform. I decided to use only one of these jigs at a time because two of them would not allow me to accurately measure both sides. The trick is to space the top of the frame and the bed platform far enough away from each other where the jig fits tight and snug but not too snug to where you can't remove it easily. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and measure from the top of the frame to the actual bed carriage. The reason I want to do that is because that's where it's going to be most of the time. Um, and of course, that's going to be where the axis is going to zero in anyway. That's pretty much the place where I want it to be the most accurate. Once I have the two sides leveled, I'm just going to make sure that it's completely accurate with the digital caliper just to confirm here. Usually it's pretty spot on, but sometimes it just needs a very minor adjustment. Well, all right, folks, now it's time to actually level the 3D printer bed here. Now, if you all are unfamiliar with that particular process, I have a video here, which I'll put in the top right. I'm also gonna be addressing this here, Z in stop here, and that'll be it for the Z axis. And of course, the rest of it's just uh, tweaking firmware, because in order to actually get the uh, Z axis properly lined up here, I'm gonna go ahead and put, tighten these down near all the way. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've adjusted this screw a little bit here. Just gotta go uh, little by little. Thing is, if I over um, adjust this here, I could break the glass on this bed. I'm gonna show you all how I do this on the LCD. I'll go ahead and go to prepare, and then I go ahead and go to auto home. That does this. And then I go ahead and go to move axis. Go to move one, now that I'm really close, so I don't, you know, smack it right into it. And then I'm, of course, I'm gonna go down. As you can see, it's pretty dang close. So as you notice, there is a uh, very small gap now. I am going to just ever so slightly adjust it here from here on out. Now, if you notice, I am uh, homing all axes, which means that Right now I have it set to kind of go back behind the bed where the glass isn't. That is just in case if I have a bit of a conundrum to where I accidentally crash the uh, print head in the glass that will prevent that from happening. Oh, she's pretty tight now. Getting pretty tight. Okay, so I'm, we're getting stupid close here. So I think I have the adjustment here. It's just tightening it down with the wrench, getting it nice and accurate. Now as the train is passing by. Do you want to let you all know that the uh, X and the Y end stops, they aren't really as critical as the Z end stop. The X and Ys can be off. They're just basically telling you the starting position of your printer bed. That's perfectly okay if those are off slightly as long as they're not, you know, way off. Yeah, the Z axis, of course, that uh, basically dictates how uh, your actual print head is lined up to your bed. So if that is off, your print bed, your print head will either crash into the bed, perhaps breaking this glass, or of course it just will not be uh, low enough to the point where it won't adhere at all. Or it'll just, you know, spaghetti all over your print bed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and level the print bed here. Now, like I said uh, previously, there is another video here. So of course click the little uh, thing in the top right for that. Yep, just go ahead and check that video out if you're interested in learning how to level your print bed. Otherwise, you can just keep watching and I'll go ahead and skip to the next part. I have a bit of bad news here, I'm afraid. Um, as I was going to level the bed, I realized that this particular nut here for the lead screw has a lot of backlash in it. As you can see, the other side I replaced with another one because it was really terrible when I got it. I'm gonna have to get like an anti-backlash nut or a different nut for this side because what happens is, as I'm trying to push the bed up, which this side is like really, really low compared to the other three sides. Because when I try to get this thing up, I even had to even try to shim it with more washers. It just pushes the actual, uh, this arm down or this beam down. So yep, yeah, that's a bit of a, uh, bit of a roadblock here, unfortunately, but we did get a good bit done here today. It's got the uh, end stop mostly calibrated. Of course, I got everything wired back, so that's good here. So one thing I am going to be doing here in the uh, next week or so is redesigning this here fan. In its current iteration, it either interferes with the back of the printer or the actual uh, print head. It's just, it's a little, it drops a little lower than the uh, print head itself just because it's not the print head that this uh, particular build used initially. But I am um, babbling on at this point here, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode because of course it's been over a month of me doing stuff off and on for this printer. And I kinda need to wrap this one up because it's, the project's getting pretty crazy, not gonna lie. But yeah, I just wanna thank you all for watching here. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, consider subscribing, and check out some other videos on one side of the screens, and have a good day.